Barbell Junction. Hi, viewers. <laughs> okay, um, welcome to our <laughs> special version of um, our podcast today. Okay. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, my questions from this. our fans. Oh. Uh, Guys, you need to calm down, okay? <laughs> All right. So now, uh, today we're gonna be talking about some stuff about Ramadan, right? And about how to how we train during Ramadan. For me, I would just train as normal because I'm not gonna fast. <laughs> not even one day. Not even one day. Mm-hmm. Maybe if I was broke, which will probably <laughs> be soon. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, we have, we have some questions for us. Uh, let's get right into it. Mm-hmm. Right, I guess, um, Azmi, do you want to answer the first question since you're like a professional uh, in this field of nutrition yeah. and training? You have a, what, 20 years of experience? Uh, no, I have, uh, 40 years of eating experience. 40 years? Oh, so maybe he can, uh, do the, he can do the dieting part. Right, okay. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, all right, let's start. First one, um, during Ramadan. Do you train at the same intensity during the fasting month? Or, or I, I suppose the what they're trying to say is, like, <clears throat> are you able to train at the same intensity? Oh, uh, right, right. Well, I guess if they, by, in, by intensity, they mean the technical term of, like, how heavy you train. And not, like, how like, intense, how sweaty, how sweaty you are, right? I hope so. Yeah, because we don't want sweat. Yeah. It's sweaty people in the gym. No, <laughs> no. So, um... Yeah, um, the general approach in t- for training during Ramadan <coughs> or any other occasion, I guess, is you want to try to do try to get to how you train as per usual. Obviously, when you first start out, your body has to adapt to the changes in the environment that you brought upon. Like um, <coughs> you're training with not enough, not as much food as you have before, so you also want to ease in. But I think for the most part, it should be okay as long as yeah. you gradually get back. To where you were, you, you should probably expect some um, a dent in your strength level in the beginning, but that shouldn't like uh, freak you out or whatever. You could probably just get back up there pretty yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't think you'd be dropping like twenty kilos on your yeah. Lips then or, that means you're not training. Yeah, that means yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's all, yeah. something's wrong. Speak yep. to Harris. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, in terms of intensity, in terms of how, how heavy you go, it should be the same. Um, the only problem, the only I guess issue that you might face is that if it's a time issue, if you if you train after prayers, mm, I guess right. you come in at ten, and the heavier sets takes more rest time, and then so you might have to drop the intensity just a bit. But that's mostly just a time yeah. issue, time yeah. limitation. Yeah. But then some people might even feel better doing like fasting mm-hmm. training. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah exactly. Because I, um, I remember twenty years ago mm. <laughs> twenty years, yeah. when I was still going to the gym halfway through your nutrition <laughs> career. <laughs> but actually, actually uh, if you re- if you recall when you were younger, when you were fasting, uh, and you go you, you, you and you go to school, and you, you you're still running around, you're still going for yeah, yeah, yeah. your yeah. pendidikan, just money. Yep. This you you're actually not weak when you are fasting, fasting? Mm. right? It, it, this is just a layman, uh, layman's perspective. So I- even if um, you uh, when I train at the gym. Uh, last time, I, I didn't lose a, a lot of um, strength per se. The workout was still the same. Uh, uh, granted that I didn't have a proper programming at that time. I was mm-hmm. just doing uh, the same uh, sets and reps yeah. uh, of different body parts and things like that. But I didn't feel weak per se, you know. Right. So I don't know. That's I I I think people would think that once you're fasting that you Everything's Somehow tired, you're really weak, tired. you're yeah. tired. Yeah. For me, that's not the case, right? It shouldn't be for you as well. I think probably the problem is just water. Yep, mm, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Did you take any pre-workout? Of course okay. not. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the pre-workout is about five. It's, it's five thirty in the morning. Five thirty. <laughs> that's the pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dates. All right. Now, second question. Um, I don't know who this is. How do you maintain the strength and power output during training? Hmm. Well, I guess the only way to tell is if power output. I guess if you yeah. have the, the tender unit, only yeah. then you can tell. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. really know. Like, I suppose um, maybe what they mean is just like, would you still be as explosive? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, right, compared right. to being like... Yeah, um, hmm. I guess it's, it's the same as before. Mm. Um, if you can maintain... 
if you can train with as, as much volume as you have been training before, you'll probably still be the same. Yep, and you're getting yeah. enough calories and you're not reducing intensity too much, mm-hmm. uh, which means you're not putting the, you're not lightening the loads too much and you're not cutting the reps back, the o- overall work done too much throughout yeah. the whole month, then you, sh- you should, at worst case scenario, be able to maintain. Assuming yeah. you're consistently training throughout the month and you're not yeah. just skipping workouts. Right, yeah. Hmm. So yeah, but I'm I'm not I've never had experience with uh, the Olympic lifts, so I That's don't know true. if it affects power more than strength. I don't force really production. know. I think maybe to a certain extent it would, mm-hmm. but then again, that that probably only applies to like your near maximal lifts, and yeah, you probably yeah, yeah. wouldn't be training your near maximal yep, lifts yep. anyway during this time. Mm-hmm. So I think it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. um, I think you can maintain it, uh, but you don't have to try to test it during the month. Yeah. No. So yeah, if you just keep building the volume and then yeah. you can test it after the month and then yeah. you'll know if you maintain or, or, or yeah. loss and Lose technically strength. technically you will never ever have to test anyway <laughs> yeah, yeah right exactly, you yeah. just keep training it's keep training. <laughs> yeah there's no, there's no reason yeah. to test unless you have to yeah in a comp yep. yeah in a comp <laughs> all right okay cool um, any any uh, input to that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Power what was output. That? What, your what power was output the during your 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> the po- power <laughs> output, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I honestly feel that... You were the same. You were the same. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you get the your energy from a few places, right? Um, again, I'm not a nutritionist. Yeah. <laughs> you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. We're not either. Right. I mean, you yeah, get. We yeah. may be wrong. Yeah. So. We could be wrong. Probably. You, you, you get you it can, from. You can ask. Uh, Come. Actually, Come has a video on nutrition somewhere here. Yep. You can just click it. <laughs> <laughs> um, With I, us. I think you get your energy from fats, your muscles, right? Yep. Um, so. I think even the sunlight to an extent. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Like Superman. Mm. <laughs> so um, to an extent. <laughs> to, an ex- <laughs> to an extent. I, I would I would assume that your body uses those um, Photos- gly- gly- glycogen <laughs> stores inside of mm-hmm. your muscles. Yeah. First, so the energy is always there. It's always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? That's true. Yeah. Sometimes it's just people getting over their mental blocks. Mm. Right. Yep, that yep. Oh, I'm fasting. I don't have energy. You know. But I just wanna dispel the myth that if you're fasting you have no energy I don't think that's true to a mm-hmm. certain extent yes you might not be as strong but I believe that you are still capable of doing the things that you were doing yeah, uh, yeah. outside of fasting months. that's true uh, that's just my my view on it uh. could it be could it be people use it as an excuse to not want to do stuff like oh, I'm fasting. I can tell you for sure when Ramadan came when I was um, training last wild, time wild years. that was the the biggest challenge in terms of me being, uh, being, con- uh, being consistent with my workouts after Ramadan. Right. Like Ramadan literally sometimes stops mm. my motivation to just go to the gym. Right, <laughs> I see. Okay. So you but that was just my problem, mm. right? Because I feel, because for a Muslim, uh, Ramadan is not just about fasting, it's about increasing your your faith, your, your spirituality, spirituality mm-hmm. uh, and all the, what, how do you say, ibadah, ibadah. Rituals. Rit, uh, rit, rituals? Yeah. Rituals? Yeah. It's rituals, yeah. The things rituals. that you do. Okay, in, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, but again, for me, I don't think that... A good deeds, it, I guess. Yeah. yeah the, the good deeds propelled me to work harder. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. We have proof. Right. Good deeds equals yeah. energy Good and strength. Energy, yeah. And so yeah. proof. Oh, there you go. Yeah. If you want, if you want to have an increase in strength output and power output, do some good deeds. Yep. Do some good deeds. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably, I would suggest that look, try it out yourself. Whether you work out uh, better prior to um, uh, so breaking the breaking fast, fast yeah. or after. You're right. right. Yeah. Because when you break your fast, if you have some self control. Then probably it's would be okay. Yep, yep, yep. But if you're yep. like most of us, gorge. Yeah, when that, you know, when the call Blood to prayer hits, gets up, yeah, yeah, yep. we're like, come. Yeah, you can't move anymore. We're like eating every single thing on the table, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. yeah I think there's a question on the training timing or, or something, nutrition somewhere yeah, down there. Yeah, somewhere. Uh, we could just talk about it now. Okay. Yeah. So like, I, I would. I would feel, for me personally, like if I was fasting, like and then if I ate, I'm probably way too tired to train or way too sleepy. Yep. 
right? Just From the everything, eating, I everything think. is just yeah. going up to my brain. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not able so, to focus. Um, so you want to get into the... No, I think that's thing? that's probably uh, there's an adjustment period. Even yeah, for, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You we know, adapt like, to that uh, kind of situation. All Muslims, yeah. um, or for me in particular as well, is that we don't fast uh, outside of Ramadan that much, mm. right? So if you if you don't fast uh, on any other month, so the first day of Ramadan hits, you're a bit like you know disoriented. You yeah. know, regardless if you're Muslim or non-Muslim, mm-hmm. you, you'll probably feel the um, the pangs of hunger. Yeah. Right. The first few days, after that you're like, ah, okay, nothing. It was, I promise you, if you try it, after but probably second or third day, yeah, it's just you, it's normal. So you will yeah. just function normally. Yeah. You know, especially if you're super busy. If you work, yeah, then you yeah, won't have time distracted to. Already. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like you're just sitting all day. And maybe it yeah. might take a week to adjust. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. But yeah. All right. But also, I mean, t- take this into consideration. Huh? In in a fasting month, a Muslim actually does more work, right? Mm-hmm. At night we have prayers, and uh, if you if you are pious enough, in the morning you do some prayers. Mm. Sometimes <coughs> uh, for for the benefit of the non-Muslims, the prayers at night uh, last from let's say what starts. Eight, I think uh, eight, 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 eight thirty eight, up to nine thirty. Eight thirty yeah. up until nine thirty, depending on how how long the you want to do it. the the imam oh, yeah. does the the prayers, right? Sometimes yep. it goes up to nine forty five, ten o'clock. It, we're yeah. talking about standing, uh, prostrating, yeah. standing, prostrating. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's a lot of energy. Yeah, technically, it's more work. So how did we get? How do we get a lot of energy during Ramadan if, if we're meant to be weak and we're meant to be uh, have, we're meant to have lack of food and food, energy? Yeah. Right? Mm. We, so yeah, just dispelling the the uh, myth. Uh. The myth. You know. Yeah, excuses. Yeah. Guys. Come yeah. On. Excuses. Just, just excuses. Yeah. Come on. Exactly. I, yeah. I think Osmir is trying to be nice. He's trying to yeah. say passive aggressive. Stop yeah. being. And, and don't <laughs> judge me if I don't train. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not because of fasting. It's, a, it's not because uh, I just don't want to. You train. just don't train. <laughs> you know. All right. He has energy. <laughs> yeah, I've got bigger problems. You have the energy. Storing it. Yeah. yeah, you have enough energy yeah. stores. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I'm <laughs> trying to hide those energy right now. Trying to hide the stores. Okay. Next question. All right. Next question. This one, um, this is a bit odd. I, I suppose maybe I could think of why you want to do it. So it's like, what kind of uh, training split slash training program would you suggest that would work best during Ramadan? Um, I would assume that you should not be changing your training whatsoever. Okay. So just keep it the same. Right. Right. Um, unless <clears throat> for some reason whatsoever you feel that you train better in the morning. Mm-hmm. Right, or you train better in the afternoon, and you still want to train in the afternoon, although you're fasting. Yeah, maybe you could probably just still just train. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll probably still be okay. I don't think. Um, yeah. Um, so I guess the, the the only thing that that changes, if it changes, is the like you said, the time of the day that you train. Yeah. If you're used to training, but that also depends on the individual's preference as well. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I have tried training right after sahur in the morning or after the morning prayers. I felt good, but for the rest of the day, it was pretty... I oh, suffered really? a bit. Yeah, it was back after, in, in after, after New Zealand. After mm. Subo, you trained? Yeah, because in New Zealand, the gym closed uh, early, I think 11, and we finished Traway at like 9. So you have no choice, right? I had to cram everything in. Yeah. So oh. some days I did... I guess you could identify which sessions take up more time. Mm. This is... Cons- uh, like if, a heavy squat day or something. Yeah, a heavy squat yeah. day, you could probably do it maybe in the morning if you're not trying to rush it. Yeah. If, if you're trying to rush it at night, then you can just throw in the accessories yeah. in there. Yeah. So you may feel better in the morning, right? Like after you have like your early, yep, early yep, food yep, and water yeah, and then you morning, just yeah. train and that's it. That's it, yeah. But then you probably feel like shit the rest so of the yeah, day. So yeah, the rest of the day. But I guess it, it won't be too bad. If, again, if you're busy, if you're, yeah, you have to go to work yeah, and stuff. Yeah. It's about water, right? Your dehydration. It's, yeah, right? it's mostly it's the, the hydration. It's never yeah. about food. Mm. It's, it's water, yeah. Dry mouth yeah. and stuff. So, so I have a question, like, because normally there's a specific time that you eat in the morning, right? What if you trained and eat? At the same time, so you yeah, don't you feel like you're thirsty. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh, the only caveat to that is you have to wake up super early. Super early, right? like three in the morning. Three, four, yeah. And I, I don't strain. know if people have access to the gym at that time, right? Yeah. So for Malaysians, there's a gym, but I don't think we should mention there. Oh name. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something. Ooh, fitness. Memories. Memories. Some memories. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah. if you're training yeah. at night, um, you're killing Carlos. <laughs> what you could probably do is you could kind of. Uh, break up the, the the sessions throughout the week and you can figure out which ones are heavy which ones are uh, less work done 
and then yeah. you could kind of split split them across. You could you if you're used to training three times a week, which is which each session has a lot of workload. Yeah, you could probably break it up to five. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sounds kind of weird. They're breaking up to five. Yeah, because mm. each day, each uh, session spent in the gym will be shorter. Yep. What well, What if you train like uh, almost uh, closer to uh, breaking fast? You could. Uh, f- I've I've tried that before. I I didn't like it at all. Oh really? Well, how come? I've spent like the whole day without food and drinks. You and warm up and, like, that's the around. time when I'm the weakest. Mm. Right after sahur is probably when I feel the best, but I'll suffer uh, okay. throughout the day. Or if you wanna if you wanna get in like right before my grip and then just wait wait a bit, do some warm ups, mm-hmm. and then once you know once you can break the fast, you just have a hundred plus or, or mm-hmm. some days yeah. so mm-hmm. mm-hmm. training. Mm-hmm. That could work as well. Mm-hmm. I guess just figure out which one is practical for you. Yeah. That, that, that's most important. I think that's what we're saying, right? Yeah. Just figure out on your own what works best mm-hmm. for you. Uh, yeah, for you specifically. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. get something done. Get as close to the amount of workload you've been doing that uh, before. Yeah. And make sure it's practical that you can actually stick to it throughout the month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think another important thing that uh, people have to know about is that like um, it doesn't matter what type of training split that you do or what type of program yeah. that you do. The overall load should be the same yep. at the end of the week or the end of the month yeah, yeah. And, it should and be the less volume, yeah. or reduced or whatever yeah. the total amount done or done, weight yeah. lifted should be the same yeah. right? there shouldn't be any change whatsoever yeah so yeah. Um, frequency does have um, an effect on training especially yeah. if you're doing something more technical Yeah. but at this point of the, mo- at this point of the training you know I mean you, you probably can't optimize it anyway yeah so, so just, just get it done yeah just get it done yeah. it's, it's better you get it done as opposed to trying to optimize it and then yep. you start to you know uh, compromise some yep. things so yep. yeah all right okay let's 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 skip forward to some uh, more interesting Juicy. questions yeah, yeah we, let's we, see we, we can only take one question before we have to take a break yeah okay. all right one one more question let me choose one hmm. maybe fast. something about nutrition does fasting cause muscular atrophy or Missing the anabolic, anabolic window. window. Oh my mm. god! Wow. What is an anabolic window? <laughs> wow. It's a really, really tiny, uh, tiny. It really, window. yes, a really yeah. tiny window. Only like the most genetically gifted people can fit through. What is it? Like, <laughs> honestly, I don't know what it is. What it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, it's uh, you. You want to answer it? Maybe? How do we explain it? <laughs> you got two Wait, minutes so, to explain. Okay, two minutes to explain. <laughs> it is common, commonly. All right, two minutes. Um, it's commonly. Uh, what's the word? Mis, uh, misunderstood uh, that yeah, like yeah, yeah. after you train misconception yeah you, misconception yeah you have like a specific time frame where you have to have your protein you have to have some type of food yeah, to carbs. maximize how much uh, protein your body is being absorbed oh, your, your body that. absorbs uh, okay. and your yeah. glycogen yeah, like, 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 yeah, like right. an hour after training yeah. you gotta have right. protein otherwise right. yeah. it's like yeah. otherwise oh, you just horrible. wasted your time training no. Literally. see actually uh, there are no, research on that uh, the protein the amount of protein that you absorb throughout the entire day it doesn't matter when you eat it what you've been doing oh, is it's still it? the same mm-hmm. oh man I did not know that I thought yeah, yeah that so window, you were you thought that, that, that window exists no subscribe to that no because probably I didn't read enough because back <laughs> then that was that was the thing that was uh, spoken about yep. that there's In a window but yeah, right? yeah yeah so, so sort of you could, argue, yeah. You could right. argue that the rate might be slightly higher but it's yeah, so yeah. insignificant it doesn't matter yep uh, so don't don't quote me on a research that's like oh this one um, it's like zero point zero 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 five grams but, more. But you you're probably in a uh, more catabolic state when if you are in um, fasting when you're fasting right. True. So that means your body's like hungry for things to yeah, yeah. fuel yeah. up. Yeah. But but it's like um, it's like intervals it's like anab- anabolism catabolism. So if the net outcome is anabolism, so I mean you can't be expecting to eat every single yeah. second right. So no, okay. there might be periods where you're in a catabolic state for a bit, and then right. you go back to the anabolic state, and then you go back to catabolic state. Okay, we'll we'll stop there and uh, we'll, we'll oh, continue okay. after this. Anabolic. Yeah. Right. So we'll be right <laughs> Let's back. Let's take us through the yeah. anabolic window <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we have a couple of seminars that we are hosting this year. In July, we have Zach Cooper, who is a USP, USAPL powerlifting coach uh, for 20 years, and in October we have Torokti for weightlifting seminar. So we hope that you register for both of them. Uh, the reason being is that number one, they, they have a lot of knowledge to share with us. And I think we definitely we can learn something from, from both of them. Uh, another thing is that with if these two courses are successful, then we hope to bring in more and more uh, experts from around the world 
to uh, to Malaysia and I think that will just benefit all of us so please register the link is uh, in the description below and we hope to see you in July and also in October for these seminars thank you so much for supporting us we're back at Barbell Junction Ramadan special <laughs> ASMR edition <laughs> subscribe for more wow anyway um <laughs> We were. Where, where did we? Uh, I think we just uh, jumped to the other side. We went the, through the window. Yeah, we went through the, the window. Tiny, yeah. really tiny window. Yeah. How does it feel? I wanna jump back. You oh, you wanna jump back? back? Okay. Yeah. It's too anabolic for you. Yeah. Too so, anabolic. So I, um, what I understand of this catabolic anabolic, um, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Is it a cycle? Or is it a cycle? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, cycle, so phases so uh, the body. Uh, I'll just explain what I understand, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, right? Mm -hmm. so we will correct you. Okay, so you when when <laughs> we wake up, you are in a catabolic state. Um, if you have, I guess, if you have no more food digesting. Yeah, I if guess. you didn't eat at night. Yeah, Probably. I mean, if you ate that night and you still have some food digesting, still being still being broken down. Yeah, but I, can, I can't be too sure on it, but I really feel like that I term is so. used a little bit too frequently and too like yeah, without thought. Of, yeah, yeah, because like or blown out of proportion. Right? If we are like switching so hard between anabolic, catabolic, anabolic, catabolic all the time, right? We're probably like stressed out. Four. <laughs> Like yeah, man. On yeah, this we'll is a Ramadan special. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I'll, repent. Yeah, I'll go repent later <laughs> tomorrow. No, no, we're not saying that you are either or, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. it's like a graph, it's a, it's right? A continuum, so, yeah. so you are anabolic and then it goes down. Mm. Yeah, the degrees yeah, are right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, when you wake up, your anabolic state is uh, your anabolic is way down, but your catabolic is high. I think so because when you wake up right? in the morning. Then you're, you're hungry and so, right? so then when you take Stress your first hormones. food with sugar, your insulin spikes. Okay. Therefore, then um, you're getting yourself out of the catabolic state. Am I right? I, th I think so. I mean, and any kind of food. I don't think yeah, it has to be sugar. Yeah. I think it's but calories, sugar spikes your insulin. Insulin, yeah. Right? So throughout the day, when you eat and you're not eating, it goes like that. Yeah. And every time you hit the sugar... Boom! Your insulin spikes and then oh, yeah, yeah, sugar, yeah, whatever. Right? It doesn't have to be sugar, but you know. So, but because <laughs> yeah, well, okay, whatever it is. <laughs> what is this food? Yes, food. Just yeah. Food. Uh, so, in a f when you're fasting, you're not Just getting a bag of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. So, so when you're fasting, you're not getting any food into your body. Yep. That means there is no. There's not going to be any spikes in insulin. Yep. Right. So you'll mm. be s in a catabolic state. Catabolic state. Okay. Mm. Is that right so far? Yes, I think so. Theoretically, yes. Um, but but you eat in the morning. Yeah. So w what what's the way I see it is if you're um, when you don't eat, you're missing out on the chance to put yourself in an anabolic yeah okay uh, anabolic state okay and it's, missing it's, a window yeah the window miss yeah you're missing, missing the window, window. gets smaller and smaller <laughs> um, and it also depends on how much you eat. Per, per sitting, mm -hmm. right? Which, which equates yeah. to the amount of calories yeah, yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, right. So I'm, I'm assuming the more calories, more protein you eat, that anabolic window gets. Yeah. The effect of it gets, mag the, the magnitude of it gets, gets higher. Mm -hmm. And so if you continue to eat less and less, this is how you put yourself in, when you put yourself in a deficit, the trend goes down and down. It's still a trending anabolic, catabolic, but every, with, with, if you eat smaller meals, the anabolicness is like smaller. And then you're putting yourself in a catabolic state for longer. And then when you eat again, the anabolic, mm -hmm. as opposed to in a surplus, but the anabolic's high. Yes. Yeah, and then catabolic again. And yeah. anabolic, so that's why you gain weight and Yeah, get so, so the, the, the question. So in a fasting, okay. right? Sorry, just, just to answer your question. Okay. If you break, you might be in a catabolic state throughout the, the, day. the day, but yep. when you break your fast and you provide your body with enough calories, then you'll just shoot back. You up. still get back to that same point. Yep, to right? the same yeah. point. So what you're saying, it doesn't matter what you take, what you eat after a catabolic state, it's um, it's the same. It's not just protein that is being absorbed um, quickly during this window. Is that what you're saying? Are no. Talking, are we talking about the window or are we talking about? We, we, yeah, we we started talking about. <laughs> we started the window. talking about the window. <laughs> and then oh, okay, because I kind of zoomed out. Right, I'm zooming back. Okay, in. Yeah, zooming back, back in. Right, back into the window. So, so we, 
we agree that okay, okay, okay. this right. is what happens yes. to your body okay. and the balik kata balik if, okay, yeah. but if you're fasting it. it goes up and then it goes yeah, uh, yeah. Da, 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 you're here then you you train so you're you're putting your body in a catabolic state uh, even more okay I get right? it, I get it. Yep, so I get my it. question is that when we, when we spoke about anabolic state oh sorry the, the window after a workout before breaking fast yep wouldn't it be a, a more catabolic yeah no, no we are definitely we are in more a catabolic anabolic. state uh, versus yeah, if you would, eat wouldn't something. there be a window where when what, what you eat will uh, be immediately absorbed um No. Why? Because I, the food still absorbs the same. It doesn't matter when you eat it, how you eat it. Okay. I, the rate so, of absorption is still the same. So, so, <coughs> uh, I, mm. Okay. Does it depend on the... Um, how do you say it? Huh? Like, like how the quickly... De- the degree of your okay, catabolicness. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. I would argue yeah. no. All right. I would argue that like it would just... Uh, let's say let's say your, your maintains calories. It's 3,000. thousand. Mm-hmm. Right, so after that time, you somehow manage to eat three thousand calories in one sitting. I don't recommend that, but just just theoretically, let's say if you did, mm-hmm. right, you're still having enough food to still maintain your current level of whatever it is that your body composition is. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the time, how you eat it, doesn't matter as long as you reach that amount of calories, right? Whether yeah. or not it's healthy, that's debatable, but you're still going to be in the same state of your body composition unless you're eating less or you're eating more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that that still that still keeps you in the same type of uh, state. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, because because you know the recovery process and the muscle protein synthesis doesn't occur in two window, eh, two hours. Yeah, it It's occurs the whole day. Yeah, whole day. So you It's have, you still have a, unless you continue fasting for yeah. another day. And okay. Then maybe so so, but we we're, we're talking about if you take like whey protein. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, you don't need a long time yeah. to you know metabolize. So what I it. think is that there might be some optimization that you can find in, yeah. in those minutias. Yeah. But that you, you that those are probably things that you should only be concerned when you're at the top level. Mm. If you're just and even uh, then, I would yeah, argue there's then. other things you could probably look at to make yourself yeah, better. This is probably like the last. Yeah, last the last thing, thing you yeah. would look at. But if you're just a guy who's you know like cre- recreationally working out, then you don't have to think about these minute details. Yeah, about yeah. timing. Unless it makes you feel better yeah. and. Fine. I would always advocate practicality over you know what's optimal. Mm. If you can't stick mm. to what's optimal. So maybe there is some merit to to getting the nutrients in as soon as you know when you're done training. Yeah. Because um, uh, I don't know, I've I've I've, heard, I've read that after training your insulin sensitivity increases, so it's yeah. easier to to mm-hmm. shuttle the the glycogen into your muscles. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a nutritionist. Yeah. Mm. So I think that one would be true, <clears throat> but then it also doesn't change the fact that. Uh, Theoretically, technically, right? Like protein is the main builder for mass. Yep. Right. Yep. So you're still absorbing the same amount of protein at the same rate. Doesn't matter what type of protein you eat. Metabolizing the protein, yes, probably the source from whey protein is quicker. So you could argue it goes to your muscles quicker, but I don't know. I think it's still the same. 20 grams of protein will be absorbed like 20 grams of protein from whatever source, mm. right? Mm-hmm. The amount of the, the amount of it that it's being used for your muscles, right, is the same. Right? It doesn't matter whether you get it from whey, you get it from tofu, you get it from meat. Mm. From yep. veggies, it's the same. Mm. It's the same, right? Now the thing, the thing a lot of people need to remember when they do all these numbers like fast absorption rate and whatever, they're talking about how quickly it's been breaking down in your stomach, yep. not how quickly it's been utilized, utilized by the body, right? Because right? the rate of that is still the same. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? It so make, technically, no, you no, could no, say it's it make, quicker. It makes, yeah, <clears throat> it makes sense. But I think this window. Uh, again, I'm yeah. maybe wrong. <laughs> yeah. So far, I'm being proven wrong. <laughs> both of you, we're talking about replenishing. replenishing. Uh, is, is it replenishing your protein no, stores? No, the, the the window is about maximizing your gains, yeah, right? Yeah. So ultimately, it's maximizing yeah, your so gains. That's what I was. That's what I meant. Uh, that could amount to maybe 0.5 percent. Uh, I would say even less. Uh, I would say even less. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if you're a beginner, a yeah, that, that. Yeah. that is the thing that you're you know focusing on. I, right. And it stresses you out. And it and if you're the kind of oh if I can't do it perfect, I'm overthinking. Do it. And right. Okay. Now then, the stress yeah, from that might yeah. reduce that 1.5 <laughs> yeah. to yeah. minus 1.5. Yeah. 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 It makes out. you right. catabolic too. So right. you go to bed, you're like, I miss my catabolic window. Okay. I think I'm ready to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I you think should have had this episode sooner. I, think. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> That's what's holding you back from working out because you think, oh man, I have to yeah. do my way after this. Yeah, after my, got my catabolic my window. Are so expensive. Okay. Blah blah blah. All right. Since we're on the topic of protein, next protein. question: um, 
how to eat enough protein daily. <laughs> how to eat enough protein? Okay. Man, like, I don't good. know. Would you j- try to eat it probably? Right? Like, <laughs> have, yeah, have you tried putting it in your mouth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would think that um, that's a bit of a, I don't know, self-answering question. If you need 100 grams of protein, eat 100 grams of protein. This is actually a, a pretty good question because I think a lot of people don't know that, don't think they're eating, think they're eating, like, eating enough protein, mm. but they're actually not. Yeah. Yeah. So first yeah. things first, figure out how much protein you need. Mm. Generally, it's about um, 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Yeah. So if you're 80 kilograms, that amounts to about 170 grams of yeah. protein, yeah. give or take. This would apply to people that train, right? Not. Yeah, yeah they train. Not like just uh, normal yeah, sedentary yeah, yeah. people. More technically, it's uh, of it's the amount based off of your lean body mass. Yeah. But uh, it can be kind of a, like a hassle to figure out what like what exactly your body fat percentage is. So mm. just just I would just go off base of your body weight. Yeah. It's better to err on on that side anyway. Yeah. I, I I would also argue that the majority of people who are watching this, or the majority of people outside who are eating right now, um, you're probably fine. Yep. You're probably okay. Until you've read something somewhere that's like, ah, how much protein are you having? How much protein do you need? Yeah. Right? <clears throat> and again, like, I want to, I wanna, like, run home the point that, like, a lot of these things, when you read them, if you really look at it, they're trying to sell you something. So you should probably think about it a little bit deeper than just, like, oh, my God, I got to buy this protein so I can get more protein throughout the day. Yeah. Right? Like, you need to, I don't know, take a step back. Like, evaluate why you're trying to overanalyze something. Mm-hmm. My, my but with, my with that, you wanna? Yeah. Can I give my take? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna blow it away. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> I'm okay. Just blow it away. Blow it away. Doesn't matter. Uh, he, here's what I I sent to both of these guys a video. Oh, actually, the YouTube video link. I watched it. I don't know. Which the, one is this? I think I opened the doctor, it. Like, the doctor. Oh, the doctor guy. Yeah. So he oh, says that was very ad, uh, like very commercial. Well, it's nicely produced. At, what's it, what's no, the but basically, what he says that what works f- for, uh, in general for the general population, ninety percent of the time is you take a gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. In it general, per, or per pound. Or per, oh, per pound. Per, per pound. pound. This is American, right? Yeah, per kilogram would be not two, enough. Yeah, we're not okay. enough. Not okay, fine. Okay, per pound of body weight. Yeah, yeah. Multiplied by two. So actually, he said general. It for general, maybe kilograms. Yeah, it Athletes, works ninety percent. Really? Athletes, yeah, because. Yeah. A gram per pound of body weight is a lot. I think that's for athletes. Uh, that's for uh, res- resistant trained people. That's yeah. true. So but for general population, yeah. Kilograms. So so and then I, I remember reading on Polykin, uh, Polykin's uh, articles. For athletes or people who train, is one point five to two. Two uh, grams two per, per pound per pound of body weight. Right. Two is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Two is a lot. Yeah. So. I don't know. This is just what I read. For me, like Faye said, I just eat my proteins. But okay, I think okay. the question is that if you are vegetarian, where do you Ooh. get that protein from if you are fasting? Right? right. Yeah. Vegetarian. Yeah, because if you're vegetarian, the amount of the amount of the volume that you would have to eat to get that lot. protein is Actually, a lot. Actually, vegetarian is not too bad because you can still drink whey, right? For for vegetarian. Yeah. Depending. For, no, for normal people, you know, probably don't take protein shakes. And oh, okay. V- I know vegans can't take uh, weight. Yeah, that's but I right. I think vegetarians yeah. can because it's not technically it's not meat. I don't know. Oh man, what's the difference between a vegan and vegetarian? Oh, we need somebody okay. to is, come into this. This, this is a very podcast. dangerous uh, <laughs> <It's> uh, <laughs> window. <laughs> window. This is yeah. a very dangerous window. I'm yeah. not uh, brave enough to go through yeah. it. I don't yeah. think we have the suits. We don't have the no. uh, the biohazard suits. So no, that's, that's <laughs> okay. no. Yeah. So it's not my field of expertise. Yeah. I'm going to get chewed out. Okay, how do you get enough protein per day? Um, you have to break it up. Uh, for sahur, which is the period uh, Muslims you know, eat before the fast, Yeah. get some protein in. For example, what I'm doing now is I'm prepping like a whole packet of chicken breast every day. Mm. I can eat half of that for sahur. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, I've seen, Harris, I've seen Harris should, like chicken in a box repeat. thing. Is disgusting. Yeah, he cooks, he cooks by himself, ladies. No, yeah, he he, yeah. he, he doesn't pan fries it with him. nothing. Yeah, <laughs> with a little bit of oil. It's great. A little bit of oil and salt. You know? <laughs> and salt. But That's I think the one thing that people don't know is that even even if you if you know how much how much protein you need for your body weight and things like that, they probably don't know what it looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you know that was sure. my pro- because the first time and again I'm gonna say the same story again uh, with uh, Cam's diet, right? Yep. The protein was like insane. insane. You know, few, you put it few eggs, a can of tuna, 
a couple Ooh. of chicken breasts, fish, like, oh my God. And you have to eat it, you know, throughout the day. But if you're fasting, yeah. that's going to be, yeah. yeah. So you have to break it up. Um, if you're serious about it, then you'll probably, you know, if this thing, if this thing matters to you, then you, 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 I would recommend that you actually prep the food yourself. So, you, so, so that you just know how much, what it looks like in front of you, the yeah. amount of protein you need. Because if you keep guessing, then you'll, you'll never know. Yeah. yeah. So, and you also, I don't think you, you need that amount of variety, like eggs and tuna and fish and beef. Unless you get bored. Yeah, yeah, it's just Unless because you, yeah, no, the staleness of the diet, you know, yeah. because you have to spice it up a little spice bit. Spice it up. But for me, it can get a bit overwhelming if I think I have to eat all those different types of, types of food. So you eat just chicken breast? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. It's oh easy. My just, God. It's still, oh my God, it's insane the amount, uh, a lot of uh, it's actually not chicken too bad. breast. Honestly, it's actually not too bad. I think, um... Think, do you want to show your chicken breast oh. after the break? Did you I bring think, it? I, 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 I ate all of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was like, uh, that's okay. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So, like, so, <laughs> so, you, you can, so you just have to break it up. Like before, sahur. Okay. Uh, you can have some protein. Um, yeah, some protein sahur. And then when you break your fast, have some yep. protein with you. And yep. then for, you know, after trawe, uh, morihan. Just have a, a, a little bit more protein. Mm. Probably take a lot of uh, shakes okay. like for, or whey protein. Yeah, that if we you can't down that much, yeah. just take the whey. Yeah, out. We yeah. Can it's fine. We'll or make a protein shake. I don't know, man. Yeah. yeah. Anything works. Yeah. All right, we got to take a, another break. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back after this. Hi, if you're interested to be on the podcast, send an email to info at zilfit.com.my. Alternatively, you can just give me a call at 12 2361 you can talk about anything if you want to promote your products if you want to promote yourself bring it on see you on the show and we're back we're back again we're back, back, again. back, again. back from the window Ramadan special. ASMR yeah. Zilfit version yeah <laughs> next question so yes. where were we yeah. we have what kinds of foods to eat don't talk too close to, to the make mic. sure training goes well I didn't, kind of I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of food? What kind of foods to eat to make sure training goes well? Hmm. Okay. Uh, you're fasting. I can I can answer that one. Actually. You're, okay, yeah. you're yeah. fasting. So, specific type of foods that you might want to eat are foods that provide calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, Cause, cause provide all calories. Food, right? Yeah, yeah not all. Because some are artificial, in, like no huh? Pepsi, Black oh, That one does not provide calories. No, that one does not. Yeah. Yeah, it's a zero calorie. How? It's a zero calorie beverage. It's a zero calorie it's not be- water. beverage. What? Water. Does I'm learning so water much does on this not podcast. Provide calories. No, water does not provide calories. It may shuttle calories into you if it had calories what? inside. Yeah, such yeah, yeah. Pepsi? No calories? Pepsi Black. Pepsi Black. Oh my god. You gotta get it right. Pepsi you gotta get the black one. Why are you one. saying Pepsi Pop again? Sponsor us, please. Just yes. get the black one. Yeah. I'm sorry. You go ahead. So, yeah, you were saying foods that have calories? Yeah, I, foods that actually, have calories. Yeah. So, essentially, just um, eat. Yeah, that's my just point. Eat something, <laughs> not during the fasting. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. If you're fasting, don't be like, you know, I watched that podcast and you were like, just eat. Huh. <laughs> yeah, please, please, all Muslims, please stick to your fast. Yeah, stick to your fast. But then, like, you know, here's how I see it. Like, if you've been fasting the whole day, right? It's time to eat. Just freaking eat whatever. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Like like stop worrying about like what kind of food to eat, especially doing like a festive season. Like you've had an entire year to work on your entire diet, but you're choosing this time to be picky about what you eat. That is just insane. Just enjoy it, right? I mean, fine. Put on some weight, maybe. Probably not because you're fasting, right? Yeah. You're not so eating it'll, all day, it'll offset. Right. But if you did, then figure it out later. Like just enjoy it and be happy with everybody else right then afterwards you can yeah. work on it properly right. yeah so do you know you know something funny is uh, actually most people don't lose weight during, during uh, fasting Ramadan? yeah mm. why because they binge they binge that's true during, uh, during the breaking of fast but i would i would argue yeah. that most people don't lose weight at any time anyway yeah. <laughs> no but i think i think you i think you are right it's just <laughs> mostly <laughs> normal i think the 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 learnings from from ramadan is that you have to have self-control self-restraint self-restraint so when you break the fast don't overeat yeah we tend to do it because if you don't believe me try and fast a few days and then go to pasar ramadan and see how much food you buy yeah right (laughs) and then you break the fast 
and you see how much food you Actually did eat. not eat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then it's all right? yeah, but it's, it's all also, waste. It's also yeah, yeah, yeah. The food's all wasted. Yeah. But it's also that like, um, it's very unlikely that you're gonna eat that amount of calories in such a short amount of time, especially at that yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. So oh, oh, but you you'll be amazed the kinds of food they have in the in the bazaar. That's true, but the but you reach a certain fruits. point where you just cannot go like yeah. four thousand, five thousand calories. Okay, that's right? yeah. Not, yeah. Personally, when I was younger, Person yeah, you're like you're like you're like eating a lot of food, right? So that's true. I mean, that's three true. three plates of rice, blah blah blah, whatever it is. Ooh. But as I got I got old older, I don't eat. Uh, as much as much right yeah yeah I don't eat yeah unless my mom's cooking mm. <laughs> hi mom <laughs> maybe you can bring it bring <laughs> sometime yeah but still I don't eat as much as I I, you I did yeah, as I used when to. you train uh, I think I think no, your anabolic window train, got smaller yeah because yeah. what you anabolic got window got smaller <laughs> yeah. as you age uh, yeah probably <laughs> the whole one's change right through, through the window yeah, you can't change. fit through the window yeah so well I guess on a more serious note we weren't serious before? <laughs> <laughs> On a more, okay. more, serious more, serious. Serious. more serious. Yeah, more serious. Um, yeah, you, could pro- you can probably just choose your food from, from the bazaar. Uh, choose it wisely though, because if you want to maintain your weight throughout the month, if you're, especially if you're a lighter person, it is yeah, possible yeah, right, to yeah. overeat your allowance in a single seat. Yeah, quite quickly. If it's greasy and sugary, and mm. it's, you know, it just makes you want to eat more. So... Don't go for all the to, for foods that are too greasy. Yeah. Um, maybe something like, I don't know, nasi lemak kukus is probably not too bad. Yeah. It's just rice, a bit of sambal, and then the chicken is fried, but, you know, it's not. The chicken doesn't absorb all the oil. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to something like, oh, I don't know, what, what's, what's hmm. the greasy? Like those, hmm. the bread hmm. stuff. Do in tell. Hmm, I'm greasy? interested. What, hmm. what do you eat what do during Ramadan? Chicken, <laughs> chicken breast. <laughs> yeah, he eats from home. <laughs> Pan fried uh, chicken breast with salt. <laughs> yeah, oh, a little salt. bit of oil. A little bit of oil. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Chakwitiao is that is that greasy? Uh, yeah, it's cooked kind in uh, oil. I think so. Yeah, I it's think gonna, it's quite it's greasy. Kinda, yeah. 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 So yes. maybe that, and that one ha- probably has like probably has uh, like little to no protein. Yeah. So it doesn't make you full. That's so yeah. That's true. So you can eat more. Yeah, that's relatively lower in the in the oil because of the calories. Mm. Like, because oil is bad or gives you negative chemical environment or whatever yeah uh, and choose foods that make you full so things that have protein and yep. vegetables yeah. Yeah. yeah would yeah. you would you argue that like although it may be negative or bad but the the positive side of it that you feel happy while eating it would that, outweigh that, that could that, be that something that, thing, right? that it's uh, that you can't just overlook yeah uh, whatever makes you adhere to your diet better mm. that's probably yeah. a, a thing to consider as well yeah um, well speaking yeah. of diet Diet. Yeah, before we end this, um, I think I think you may have something very controversial to say, right? Because it's more of like um, when it comes to diet, because you mentioned adherence, right? Yep, yep. Like a lot of times you have reports, oh, this diet works better, this specific way of eating works best, or this one works best, right? It only, if you really look at it, it only worked best because you were able to adhere to it. Yep. Yeah, right? Not that it was the best way. It was or, the best it, way for you at that specific type, time. Fit your jeans or whatever. Right? Yeah, like fitting your jeans <laughs> and um, whatnot um, because of the protein synthesis or the <laughs> solar synthesis you get from eating at a specific time. <laughs> so, um, it's only because you were able to adhere to it because you believed in it. You bought into it. Yep. Right. That's yeah. And if we did anything else, any other way. For example, if we reduce your calories, right? Hmm. After we find out how much calories you're eating, not from a calculator. Because the calculator doesn't take into uh, account what you've already been eating to maintain. It could be 3,000 calories, but then you go on a calculator. Um, a recent friend of mine was just talking about this. Um, uh, just go on a calculator and calculate. like, oh, you should be eating 1,500 a day. I'm like, yeah, but if this person has been maintaining their weight at 2,005, and now you're saying they should be eating 1,005 a day, that's going to screw them up big yep. time. Yep. Right? So you cannot do that. You need to find your maintenance which is easy. Don't change the way you eat. Eat the same for one whole week, then you get the average from that. Mm-hmm. And then we work from there. You want to gain yep. weight, we increase the calories because, you know, yeah. over time. Want to lose weight, we decrease the calories. Right? That's, that's really it. They're, they're the main goal, if you really look at everything, right, of any type of diet, why do you lose weight? Because the amount of calories you've eaten over time is less than what you started yep. with. And right? You cannot argue with that fact. Yep. Right? True. Like, you can throw in all kinds of other stuff. Oh, yeah, because of these, um, my ketosis or whatever <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I saw in uh, Instagram. Yeah. Don't take, take this oh as boy. gospel. 
somebody went on a McDonald's diet. <laughs> no, honestly. Is this personal? No. No, he was trying to make a point. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it says that if you are in a caloric deficit, okay, whatever. you will lose weight regardless of what you yes. eat. Yes, precisely. Whether or not it's healthy, yeah. that's a it's different that's topic. Different. Exactly. But the weight loss is yeah. still the same. Yeah, because yeah. of the caloric deficit. Yes. So now, here's a big problem with people that I've observed with like the really, really um, nutritionally illiterate people. <laughs> they think that rice has a lot of calories and so I'll eat mihun or mi, mi goreng. <laughs> oh yeah, actually that is very That's true. Right, yeah. It's like, oh, because it's not rice, it's, it's noodles. Rice, yeah. uh, mm. so very funny though because, okay, Maybe like, more. I, I have something for like the viewers to try. Like, try getting all of your calories just from rice alone. I guarantee you're going to have a really hard time. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to <laughs> get yeah, calories yeah. from rice. There is not much. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> there is not much. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Like it's gonna be really, really freaking hard. So stop saying like, ah, uh, you gotta stop eating rice. You know, go have a bowl of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no- noodles don't fill me up at all. Yeah. So I can probably rack like I think I've eaten like the whole bag of spaghetti in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. And I was still hungry after that. You're still hungry. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah. The amount of calories like yeah. it's just nothing really. Yeah. Right. You get most of it from fat, uh, protein, and then your carbs. Yep. All right. So, and people also don't uh, realize that they don't have to eat less to lose weight. No. They just have to switch. The, the, t- for example, if, you, if you've been eating a lot of greasy stuff, mm. you can take out the grease. You can add in yeah. more, I don't know, chicken or more, more rice without the grease. And you'll be you probably, more. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and, and here's the thing. It's like, a composition, um, food composition. Even if you didn't, I would argue, even if you didn't take out anything, your diet still stays the same. You're still eating like but you're still maintaining Beep. how much you're eating, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You start training, you start exercising, you do some stuff, you are going to lose weight anyway. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yeah. This is something that a lot of people don't mention, especially when it comes to um, uh, weight loss specialists, right? You're losing weight because they make you start something. If you did the yeah. same thing on your own, you would probably still lose weight. It's not because of a magical training program, not because of a magical diet. You lost weight because you did something. Right, that's that's a very big point to remember. Right, you are able to do it on your own. Right, whether or not it's optimized, that's a different story. Yep. But you're able to. There's no secret diet. There's no tea talks. There's no anything that you can eat that's going to magically make you lose weight just like that. Right? Yeah, it's really annoying. Like, you just stop that. Oh my god. Stop it. Stop, stop it. it. Stop. And I think I think we'll end our episode there on a good note. On a good. Yeah. <laughs> Before on a very <laughs> positive note. Before we. Yeah. So, so <laughs> Sorry, okay. Let's, let's just summarize what we're trying to say. So for Ramadan, just eat as you would. Yes, and Normally. train yeah. as, as and train so as yeah, you to would. the best yeah. of your abilities. Yes, choose exactly, yeah. adherence and practicality yeah. over optimization. Yeah. My my message is just do everything in moderation. Yep. Yeah. That was your freak. Yeah. Are you freak? Unless you're yeah. a friend of ours. Five percent. Unless you're five percent. Yeah. yeah. A friend of so ours. He's a five percent. He's a dentist. <laughs> um, we may be having him on a podcast soon. Ah. He's yeah. really yeah. He's the. I would say he's the one percent. He's the one percent. He just has it. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff we just talked about it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. He's just, it's just there. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, we have some uh, s- uh, some promotions uh, here at Zilfit uh, for Ramadan, which will be announced in the next one or two weeks. Um, I would I, I want to say that um, for those of you who wants to train here in Ramadan, we will be open from 10 a.m. and but we'll be closing a bit later at 12:30. 12, 12, right? Mm-hmm. A.M. So please come uh, here and train if you want. Yeah. If you're a Don't Muslim, leave me alone. If you're a Muslim, there's a mosque like yeah, 500 meters, by, very close by. Yeah. We, to, we serve water. Yeah. Free We've water. got water and all that <laughs> We've stuff. We've got water. <laughs> yeah. So no excuse for <laughs> you not to train <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you have no motivation like me. Okay. Oh. But you should have motivation. Just come here <laughs> and train. All right. Um, the other promotions will be will announce uh, in due time. Yep. So until then, uh, to all Muslims, uh, hope you have a good fasting month. Don't miss anything. You don't want to be sinful. Don't eat. <laughs> yeah. Don't just eat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't just fast. eat. Fasting is not hard. For the non-Muslims, I encourage you to try and and get into the festivities, the mood uh, uh, of the season. Yeah. Right. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll guarantee you'll enjoy it, especially yep. the Pasar Ramadan. Just don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and don't waste. So yeah. Mango smoothies. So. Oh, yeah. Mango smoothies. So that's it for, for this week. Um, please um, 
check us out uh, in our YouTube channels and also Spotify. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you guys. No, wait. See you guys. Subscribe too. Don't oh, forget. Subscribe, subscribe comment, like, comment, leave everything, all that stuff that every other single YouTuber tells you to do. Do it on our channel. All the jazz. Yes. Don't do it on theirs. No, we have another section for the pre recorded message. <laughs> oh, we do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh, that's fine. Yeah. This is more natural yeah. now. We yeah. don't need it's to okay. add it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, can yeah. save fire some Just, just subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe, yeah. comment, yeah. and share it. Even though if you didn't watch the video, that's fine. You're probably not at this point if you didn't watch it. Yeah. So we are actually we are rambling. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Let's just just, all right. And on on the goodbye. Yeah. See See you. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notifications on. If you like the video, hit the like button and leave a comment. We're also on Spotify, Instagram, and Facebook. The links are in the description. See you guys in the next episode.